I used to blame poverty on the poor. I used to say to that young man who didn't have a father at home, who's, who didn't have a mother or a role model at home, I used to tell them, I thought that I was just like them. Get off your ear and stop whining, go to work. You're just being lazy. Not realizing that I had a mom and a dad who were my role models, and so I was never poor. I just didn't have any money. Well, you know, there's a technical definition that says if you live below a dollar and a quarter a day, uh, that that constitutes poverty. But I, I think that poverty for, for us is, is rather than a technical definition, but rather a, a human dimension, which is when you see those who uh, are living, who are struggling, who may make more than a dollar a quarter a day, but it's still not enough. I wish I had a magic wand that can say, okay, here's how we end poverty, here's how we bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. I'm encouraged, though, that there are some real possibilities of alleviating poverty um, by providing access to financial services. My name is Michael Tarazi. I am a policy advisor at the Consultative Group to Assist the Poor, which is housed at the World Bank. What I spend um, my career doing is, is exploring ways of uh, using technology to provide access to finance for those lower income segments of the population. If I give a, uh, a poor or, or homeless man a uh, million dollars, within six months they'd be broke. Be because uh, a, a low self-esteem, an internal poverty, uh, uh, breeds bad decisions. When I say I want to break the back of poverty, I'm talking about poverty that's here and poverty that's here. That give people a hand up and not just a hand out to empower them. We're all important, we all have dignity, we all uh, have wealth. I'm John Hope Bryant. Uh, I'm the founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Operation Hope. Uh, I'm also the vice chairman of the U.S. President's Council on Financial Literacy. Capitalism and free enterprise is a great system, but we should want capitalism and free enterprise that rises all boats and not just yachts. We've got to find a way to make free enterprise and capitalism work for everybody. Can anybody here get rich? Yeah. Who in here is going to get rich? That's creating stakeholders, creating educated young people with giving them choice and opportunity, making them too busy to hate, creating owner, uh, ownership, home ownership with responsible mortgages that people understand, giving them financial literacy. It's not just a question of credit. Many poor people need just a savings mechanism. Where's a safe place that they can put their money rather than under their mattress? Or they need remittance services. You know, how can they send money to you know, their, their relatives uh, somewhere else in the country um, you know, without spending a lot of money or without having the, the danger of, of carrying cash uh, long distances? So with new technologies, mobile technologies, internet technologies, you find that financial access is becoming easier um, and less expensive. You can lower the cost of financial access and that can have a, hum a, a tremendous impact uh, on, on providing financial services in such a way that poverty is alleviated. One of the things that we do at Operation Hope, we partner with some of the largest banks and corporations uh, in the world. We teach children financial literacy. We've taught 330,000 kids checking, savings, credit, investment, the history of banking, a course in dignity, which is the real wealth. And in South Africa, we teach a course in entrepreneurship because there's not enough jobs to go around. So you've got to create self-employment projects. There's been frustrating moments, there's been tough moments, uh, but we've raised $500 million U.S., almost uh, half a billion dollars, uh, 
on this philosophy. And I, these days, I don't, I, don't even, I don't ask people for money. I share my vision, and, and uh, people often say, what can I do to be helpful? I mean, is it ever possible to eradicate poverty entirely? Realistically, probably not. But does that mean we can't make significant progress um, in, in addressing poverty today? We can. And uh, we've seen that, where technologies have uh, helped people uh, get into the banking system and provide financial access from everywhere to the Philippines, to Kenya, to Brazil. I don't want anybody watching your program to think that I'm some Mother Teresa. I'm not that good. I'm no Martin Luther King Jr. I'm selfish. I'm a sinner. Uh, but, I'm a, but a saint is a sinner that got up. And I try to practice good selfishness. It's just a radical movement of common sense. And it's something that everybody can do. Gandhi once said, you've got to be the change you want to see in the world. Uh, and I just think that this is the only way to live. This, and, and by the way, when I go to bed at night, I feel really good.